Personality is power to uplift, power to depress, power to curse, and power to bless. The less one knows, the more he thinks he knows, and the more willing he is to employ any and all measures to enforce his views upon others. How strange it is that murder has the sanction of law in one and only one of the human relationships, and that is the most important of all, that of nation to nation. Permanent superiority has never been realized by any nation in history. After the rise comes the fall. It would not be fair to the critics of Rotary, who includes some of the most brilliant of the British and American writers, to charge them with prejudice. While the struggle for religious liberty had proceeded without large-scale bloodshed in New England and elsewhere in the United States, the struggle for political liberty had not fared so well. Singing is not indulged in by rotary clubs of some countries and all clubs are given full privilege to do as they please about including it in their programs. One's nativity is not of his own choosing, but whatever it may be, it is entitled to respect, and all nations have honorable place in the world's family. It has been the way of Rotary to focus thought upon matters in which members are in agreement, rather than upon matters in which they are in disagreement. In the cold, shivering twilight, preceding the daybreak of civilization, the dominating emotion of man was fear. In the clashes between ignorance and intelligence, ignorance is generally the aggressor. When an individual, a sect, a clique or a nation hates and despises another individual, sect, clique or nation, he or they simply do not know the objects of their hatred. Ignorance is at the bottom of it. If there is anything worse than international warfare, is civil warfare, and the United States was destined to experience it in the extreme of bitterness. In course of time, religion came with its rights invoking the aid of good spirits which were even more powerful than the bad spirits, and thus for the time being tempered the agony of fears. Descendants of New England pioneers are proud of their ancestry and glad to proclaim the fact that so far as the United States are concerned, New England is indeed the cradle of religious liberty. To attempt to superimpose its views to the exercise of force is seldom the part of intelligence it is frequently the part of ignorance. The higher the general average of intelligence, all things else being equal, the less the disposition to be meddlesome, critical, and overbearing. There is nothing in the genius of America more precious today than the spirit of religious and political tolerance and its application to our own people.